This conference will now be recorded. I'd like to call the CDA meeting to order for Tuesday, October 6th. Roll call, please, Terry. Mayor Kodowski? Here. Gary Paul? Here. Bruce Enke? Here. Jim Christensen? Here. John Otis? Here. And Keith, I'm not sure. Okay. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm pleased to remember our men and women throughout the world in the form. I have no changes to the agenda. I need a motion to approve. Move to approve the agenda as presented. Second. Motion and a second to approve the agenda as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Number five, action on the minutes from the CBA meeting of June 2nd, 2020. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve those meetings. Minutes, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Six, action items. Action on the sale of Mike McCarthy Way parcels VA-54-2 and VA-55-8 up to 80,516 square feet to merge LLC DBA merge urban development. Aaron. Okay. Uh, the request before the CDA uh, is for the sale of two parcels of land. I'll bring those up here. Uh, it's for these parcels uh, right here. Uh, on the north side of Mike McCarthy Way. The proposed development is for uh, Merge Urban Development to propose uh, a five-story uh, building. And I'll bring up the rendering of it here. Uh, this one back here, along with some uh, green space area, kind of a, a plaza area to really kick off the uh, redevelopment of Mike McCarthy Way. The property is actually owned by the Community Development Authority. Uh, the Village Board has approved uh, or conditionally approved the development agreement with Merge Urban Development uh, to uh, sell the property uh, conditioned upon CDA approval. Uh, since it is actually CDA owned property, uh, CDA approval is required. Uh, one of the, the terms of the agreement with the Village Board is for the sale of the property for one dollar uh, and that's the agreement with uh, with merger and development uh, i'd be happy to answer any questions that you have uh, regarding the project uh, the development agreement or the uh, uh, requested sale of land aaron the question i got you uh, scrolled over the two buildings to the, to the west uh, the two, the uh, building to the east is that a proposed building at a later date, oh. or what? What are we looking at here, so we understand? Sure, we're looking at this building right here. So this would be the far east end of the north side of Mike McCarthy Way. Okay, I might have a. Yeah, here we go. Different perspective. So this building right here, uh, this is kind of the plaza area uh, for pedestrian activity. You see here the first floor commercial, up to 5,000 square feet of first floor commercial with uh, four stories of residential uh, apartments above it. Okay. All right, so that's the only building at this time that is proposed on that property. Now, does that building take up the, the entire piece of property that's on the north side that's owned by the CDA? It does not. Um, there is that's why the uh, recommend, recommendation for approval is the up to 89,516 square feet. Of property. Of property, right. They're doing the detailed engineering right now to determine what exactly the square footage is that they need. Okay, and that'll be on the west end of the property. Correct. And the east end will let us with approximately, well, we really don't know what the east end will give us yet, right? Right, I, we have probably about another two acres or so two and a half acres on the east side yet plus the two and a half acres on the south side of mike mccarthy way uh right here okay uh 
Now, uh, is there a development agreement set approved by both parties at this time? For building one, there is an approved development agreement with the Village Board and Merge Urban Development. Okay, as long as everybody knows. All right, all right. Aaron, I just want to um, say it's 80,516 square feet, not 89. Oh, check. I just want to, that's what my paper says, 80,000. So, Aaron, I'm sorry if I'm confused on this. Are we doing enough land in this sale to that they could build all three buildings, or is this sale just for the amount of land for the one building? Just for the one building. So we would come back and do the same thing for building two when they're ready to start that, and the same thing for building three if that moves forward? That's correct. Do we have a clarification on the uh, amount of property? So what I can do is instead of square feet, I can say 2.055 acres, which is the combined acreage of 55-A and 54-2. And I can get a square okay. footage here quickly if I can find my calculator. Just to verify that amount, yeah, bear with I, me a second here. I just didn't want to misrepresent a number. No, it is 89,515.8. That is the actual square footage. Correct. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. okay. So as identified in the staff report. Has, does this land have any remediation needs? I can't remember what was on this before. So this is the former truck equipment property. Uh, we've done some pretty extensive uh, analysis on the site uh, as far as phase one environmental, phase two, as well as additional testing with Stantec, our environmental consultant. Um, we have not gone through the process to get actual closure on the property. Uh, in consultation with Stantec, it was determined that if there's a development proposal, it's easier to get closure as part of the development itself, as opposed to closing it out and then having a development come forward and having to do what's called a post-closure modification with the DNR, which is another layer of review and steps to go through. So this way it's taken care of in one step with the development process. So if some contamination or something that needs to be taken care of is found, who's responsible for those costs? That is the village cost. And you're saying as of now, we don't know any, is that? No, we know that there is contamination we there. We know there is, all right. We have characterized the site. It's a matter of develop, of working with the developer to engineer the site uh, to manage the contamination. So whether that's through a process of tapping through parking lots, uh, burning it with uh, 18 inches of clean soil. There's a lot of different ways to manage uh, the contamination that's on site. Uh, it's just a matter of working with the development to figure out the best way to do that. Because the west side of that property was more buildings than actual ground. Uh, the east side had more more surface uh, without buildings, uh, so that might be an advantage at this point. Yeah. Till we till we find out. Right. Like I said, we have we. Done some really extensive testing on the site initially uh, through a site assessment grant with the DNR, uh, and then followed up with some uh, pretty extensive additional testing uh, in anticipation of redevelopment of the site. I know that that is one of the keys that we like to do whenever we we have a site that has some questionable ground in it. Um, we like to work with the developer to to manage that dirty dirt, I'm going to say, on site, so that you know it it allows to not have to truck it off. So now there's nothing underground, that underground parking or any space underground on these because of that contamination. Is that true? Uh, they just they didn't feel underground parking was necessary. They were able to accommodate the. Uh, parking on surface uh, it makes it 
easier in terms of the development process. Uh, and it's also just an easier uh, construction process, quite honestly. Okay. What kind of estimated time of building do you have on that? Uh, they have to have all of their plans for site plan uh, in before the end of the year. And then construction is commenced by November 21st of next year with construction completion by December 31st of 2022. And that's actually spelled out in the development agreement with MERGE. Okay. Does anybody have any other questions? I'm trying to figure out a question for the development agreement so that we are not in risk of other than the contaminated soil, would that be a correct way of saying it, Aaron? I guess at risk for what? I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. That's why I didn't know quite how to ask the question. Yeah. I mean, other than the environmental issues on site that we, we know of, uh, it's a pretty standard development agreement and process, uh, similar to other places that we've done these. Okay. We've had no problems with those agreements uh, per se. Correct. Okay. Okay. Okay, any other discussion and questions? All right, there's no other questions. Uh, I'll move to approve the sale of, Mary, would you read the rest of the parcel of oh, I, oh, okay. here we go. Recommendation. Uh, recommendations, uh, oh, recommendation approval for sale of 89,516 square feet of parcel VA-54-2 and VA-55-K. Necessary for building, building number one for Merck uh, Urban Development for about. And just to clarify, that's up to that amount, correct? Oh, up to, okay. Yeah. Up I'll to second that. Okay, so we have a motion and a second to approve the sale of parcels VA-54-2 and VA-55-A up to 89,516 square feet to merge urban development for $1. Is there any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, just on Related to that topic, uh, I did receive a survey from Merge Urban Development asking for community input into uh, the development. Um, I'll be happy to send that out to the CDA members. It is also posted on our social media. Uh, Jeremy put that out there yesterday. Okay. So yeah, um, Aaron, I'll send it to you and you can all fill it out as the survey. So we wanna hear from all of us. Any items for next agenda? I have none, but we'll call you. I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. We're adjourned. Thanks, everyone.